Take it back. 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 Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure to be in your palace today and to be in your presence. Incidentally, your palace is the first palace I'll be visiting in the southeastern part of Nigeria. <laughs> and um, my friend Leonard and several others made it clear to me uh, when I was coming to Umar here that there is uh, an Eze here who is very digitally minded. Now you know that we have anchored our campaign on digital modernization of Nigeria. So he said that there's an easy, who knows what is going on in the world? He said that you have a hidden room in your palace where you watch everything that is happening in Nigeria. <laughs> so there's nothing going on in the country that you are not aware of. So it's a pleasure to meet you. And it's a pleasure to meet a like-minded easy. Uh, it's also a pleasure to be here in Umahia. My father's younger brother told us a lot about Umahia because he came to the Federal School of Agriculture here in Umudike. So we know a lot from what he tells us, how hospitable the people here are. But we also know about Umahia because he has an emotional story to Nigeria. This is where the war ended. And uh, since the war ended, we also have a history. I was a year old when the war ended. So I did not experience war. Uh, I didn't fight in the war. And in coming here today, I did not intend to come and ignite a war. But what Nigeria has seen over the last 50 years, or since the end of the war, is that it seems that we ended the war, we won the war on the Nigerian side, but we did not discontinue the war. And that is the story we had all the way from Uyo, we drove from Uyo to this place. The moment we entered into the southeastern part of the country, you could just see that there's a history of neglect and lack of support for growth and development here. But this is not the only place where it is happening. It's happening all over Nigeria. Except that over here there was a declaration to underdevelop. In the other part of Nigeria, there was no open declaration, but there's still underdevelopment of Nigeria. And as young people who have uh, seen the other part of the world, we see how things work all over the world, we decided that in the coming dispensation, which will be 20 years by next year after we had democracy come back to Nigeria, that we must take the country in a different direction. Is it? And the reason we have come is to seek your blessing and your support. We see a lot of very interesting photographs in your palace. You've met some very powerful people. We have also met them. Uh, the only difference is that we have had to fight some of them, you know, the people you have in your palace. And uh, so we want you, uh, and we know that you are not political, 
you are for the betterment of the country and support of everybody. But we want it that by next year, that picture to your right will be my picture. <laughs> but it's just not a picture that we want to change. We want to see development happen in your kingdom, in the Keoba kingdom. We want to see great roads here. We want to see people have real qualitative education. We want to bring health. We want to bring our anger of underdevelopment against the underdevelopment in the southeast. So anywhere from here to anywhere, you will see it. And we are making a promise. Our own kind of promise for development is like a threat. We are threatening development in the southeast. That we are threatening that the southeast will never be like this again after next year. Is it? The reason why things are happening the way it is, and we must say it honestly, is that we cannot continue to fight for people who fought the war and expect for them to bring development to this place. This is a mistake we have been making. People who fought the war have a war mentality. You know, even though they said that the war was over, there should be the implementation of reconstruction, reconciliation, and what's the third one? Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. No reconstruction has taken place. No rehabilitation has taken place. What we have all over the East is regret, which is the fourth R. <laughs> but we don't want that to continue. So not to prolong the matter, uh, and not to prolong the speech, because a lot of people have come before you to make very beautiful speeches. Uh, so I can see it. I'm sure if you want to put in this place as photograph, we cannot even finish looking. But they have not done anything. So let us be the one who came and said little and heard from you. Because this is also a need assessment visitation to the country for us. You are the elders. You know what is wrong with the country. Even when you don't say it, when you go back inside, you know what is wrong. You have connections. People come here to come and ask you for help. I cannot imagine how many people come here to look for help. Help that could that didn't need to even reach your palace. Everybody is in a state of agony in this country. But what we are saying is that we must stop agonizing. We must organize ourselves for 2019 so that we can put this country on the path of progress, on the path of peace, because there's no peace now. In coming to this place, we saw at least two army checkpoints. We said, well, if there's no war, why the army checkpoints? There is no progress because we see it in the roads, we see it in our hospitals, we see it in our, our schools, and there is no prosperity. We are poor, and we must not continue to be poor. We want prosperity to be visited upon the state of Nigeria, and one of the things that I promise, like a threat, is that. The second Niger Bridge will never, ever continue to be a model that we see in the picture. It will be a physical structure. And there will be a third Niger Bridge and a train that will be going back and forth. Because what we need is a place to practice our trade. And without integration, trades cannot work. And without trade, we cannot have prosperity. That is why we are here in your kingdom. Uh, I like what you said about Gidi Gidi. But when I read your, the signboard, it said Gidi Noba. You know, in our area, Gidi is the correct thing. So you are the Gidi Noba for us. You are the correct Oba. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much uh, for receiving us. Thank for the cola and the drinks and the honor granted us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
because the position of presidency is sacred, set aside for the old people. Mm. I think you will be the youngest Nigerian that will be contested for the position. So it's a claim of job to see Nigerians you know, this time around coming out boldly to uh, put the uh, over the home. Uh, I'm grateful that I was chosen <coughs> to be visited. I'm not the only traditional ruler in Romania, in Arabia, in the Southeast, you know, you go to other Southeast and other states. But to have been the first to be visited, by you means a lot to me and to my kingdom. Uh, you know, today is Sunday and uh, a lot of activities going on. Usually, I have a, a digitalized system of reception. Mm -hmm. Maybe this place would have been filled to the brim and maybe there could have been some dances there waiting for you. But because of you know what today is to our people, so many of them, some have been here, some left because of their meetings, their eighth grade meetings and things like that. So that, however, I must not fail to tell you that I've been kept for too long waiting oh. for you. That is my sickness. The sickness I have in me. If that sickness does not kill me, I will kill that sickness. Mm -hmm. And that is saying the way I feel about the king. So, however, we are happy that at last that you are here. Maybe I would have, uh, I would have uh, made a prayer that would have stopped your vehicles on the way if you hadn't come at all. <laughs> but thank God you are here. So, your vehicles will be moving on. <laughs> <laughs> And I saw you, I watched you very interestingly from that my small hidden room. Yes. <laughs> I watched you when you were being interviewed. I think it was AIT. Is that AIT or channels? One of these uh, televisions. Not quite long, but about a week ago or so. I watched it and I was so, so, you know, calculated by your, uh, your speech, your articulations, I was so happy. Even though the, what we call it, the uh, internet news, whatever, somebody, I, I read when, when one prophet was saying that the so rare and uh, good again that they will not beat the uh, uh, Wale in 2019. <laughs> I said, is it not the same song I can watch on it? <laughs> <laughs> so you see, uh, it's good making bold your feelings known to the people. It's good. But I must tell you something. Nigeria, the way we are today, should, as a matter of fact and urgency, be handled by intelligent, more intelligent and uh, healthy people. Mm. Old people are important, but there are games for old people. Mm. Ruling Nigeria is not for the old people. Mm -hmm. If a nation like France could have brought a 30 something year old young man, mm -hmm. I'm too sure you're about 41, 42. 47. 47. Yes, sir. And you are older than him. So yeah. you're, you're okay for, the, for this position. Mm -hmm. And thank God, the Constitution allows you that. That's yes, right. But I must tell you something. Don't we power, don't we pump the zeal of the people. Don't we pump the interest of the people to see you as a messiah and along the line you disappoint them. Don't ever do it. Else your political career is gone forever. 
let that zeal, the light that, you, that is lit on you politically now, be sustained. And let there be proper planning, proper articulations of what you are doing, so that it doesn't look very childish. Mm -hmm. Before I forget, I am aware that Nigeria Constitution does not allow for independent candidates. Yes. Which is your political party? We are working with several political parties to form a coalition. And we are close to registering. Uh, we are not registering. We use one of the political, political parties, parties, but others will line up behind us. I was reading the other day when somebody was analyzing that the uh, sitting president through the uh, apparatus of government mm -hmm. that make it difficult for people to really say any political decision. So I'm sure your own interest is protected strongly yes. in the coalition. Absolutely. And uh, I am happy only to hear from somebody, someday a politician, he said, Zoni. Is a language for the weak. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So to talk about second tenor for the north or for the south, or having come from where the immediate past that president comes from, not from the south south, or from the southwest. I'm from everywhere. No, 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 no. Yeah. You must come from somewhere. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from Ondo State. Okay. But I'm actually. In Yoruba speaking in German. Okay. So I'm from the south south and the southwest at the same time. And like I told you, I'm also from here because my uncle came to school here. I'm from the north. I did NYC there. <laughs> my brother married from Uga. I'm from there too. <laughs> these, are, these are advantages. These are advantages. But when you are feeling a fuck, you will be asked, where is your home town? Must feel somewhere. Right. But it's good that you are here. Um, me and my people are happy to receive you. I want you to have a very good structure. Structure that will pretend seriousness. Structure that will, you know. Uh, make people realize that this guy hasn't come to, to, just to play the guy. Okay. And some structures, political structures, even though they may not be named a political party since you have not actually yes. come together. Mm -hmm. But like he is a coordinator for other states. Yes. There must be some coordinators in the local governments. There must be local co co coordinators in the wards. Mm -hmm. So when this thing is spread across the state, so worry, so worry, so worry. People will see that there is seriousness in that. Yeah. But eventually the coalition selects you as their candidate. Yeah. And yeah. it's an easy something for this. Um, I want to tell you that the issue of presidency in Nigeria serious business I must be taken as such by any contender. The best thing that will happen to us in this country is for that position to change hand. It has to change hand because we are in total bondage. I'm a traditional ruler. I don't belong to any political party. But because of the way I have been treated, because of the way my people have been treated, I have every God to say, these people that or this man or this group that have been treating us this way had to leave. That's they right. To, they have to vacate. That's that right. Position. My people say, evil cry when good men go to sleep. That's it. 
That is why I will make bold to say, let there be a change. Change for better, not change for worse. So, my brother, my son, my friend, you are welcome to my kingdom. To be part of this kingdom, and in the course of our future interactions, we'll be able to tell you a whole lot of other things that will be helpful to you. Like you said, you have seen an array of people who have been here. Yes, everybody has good side and bad side. They, 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 they have shown you know, their own good side, and we have seen their own bad side. Mm -hmm. uh, what we need is use their good side, add to our own good side, and for their help, leave them with their bad side, mm -hmm. and make sure that Nigeria changes for better. That's right, sir. Let us not dwell on the past so that we don't get bodied, overbodied, and killed. Somebody said something that uh, uh, I, am, I, am, I, am, I am from nowhere and nobody is present. But today they are telling us, they are showing us a different thing. Side of them, that's right. If in the history of Nigeria, Every, every army chief, every security chief mm -hmm. is from one tribe. It's dangerous. That's right. When they go to talk about security issues of Nigeria, who, who represents us? Nobody represents us. Who talks about the security, the insecurity in our own area? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I would say you are blessed to have come here. If you are in an environment or you are from a clan that has extreme, not normal, in the olden days, when you go to stream very early, you get the cleanest water. Mm. But when you go, when many people are gone there, I want to tell you, you get there for a water. That's right. <laughs> so you have come earlier to get a blessing that will carry you far. Amen. Now, I would want us to drink before you leave.